Hi, it's Matt from Tubby Tarot again. Welcome to another tarot review. Today we're actually going to be looking at the Santa Morte Oracle, Book of the Dead. It's an oracle deck of 32 cards and it is by Lestrano. Oh my God, I know I'm going to pronounce this. I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong. His name is Fabio Lestrani, not Lestrano. Fabio Lestrani. This is probably the most difficult oracle deck I've ever had to work with because there are only two ways you can work with this. Number one, either read the book and memorize it, or number two, you have to actually just work with this um, by looking at it and using your intuition. But let's have a look at the deck itself. It comes in a lovely box, and I can mention this is a deck by La Scarabeo, and once again, they've really stepped up their game. Beautiful silver inlay that's slightly, it's actually slightly raised from the box. Gorgeous um, colors, gorgeous box. Um, slightly bigger than a normal um, deck. So the box is, is a nice little size, very strong. Comes with the little keyholes cut out so you can open it really nicely. The inside is plain black. But you know what I like about it? It's got this little fine ribbon that you can use when you put your cards and you can pull to let the cards up. I love that. And it seems to be a, a trend now with Los Carabeo. They seem to really be coming out with some amazing stuff. The cards come with a little booklet. The booklet is, of course, not in color, and it is in 700 different languages. Um, but what I can say is the booklet is quite... It goes into quite a lot of depth about the different cards. So if you are going to use this um, as, a, as a proper... Um, sort of um, oracle deck the way that the author wants you to use it, you're going to have to use this this um, this little booklet. Okay, so blah, blah, blah in the booklet. Let us have a look at the cards. Now, the cards are really interesting. That is the back of the card. But you'll notice that each card has a different pattern on it. And I'm going to explain that in a little while. Okay, so what happens is if you lay all the cards out, you take these cards and you lay them all out in a specific order together, upside down. You will see this. Now, if you take these cards and you flip them over, you'll see that they've got pictures. And all they have is literally the picture and the number in a little skull. There is nothing else on here. So let's quickly run through these cards, um, and then I'm gonna show you another little secret that the cards hold. Okay, so that's card number one. All right, I'm not going to say anything about these cards except the number. So that's number two. I might mention a bit of something about the color. That's number two. Here's number three. Can you see how you would have to use your intuition with these? Number four, gorgeous colors. Absolutely stunning colors. Now we start getting more towards pictures. There's the number five card. Look at that wonderful um, sort of face. Number six card. Again, if you look very carefully, you will see a skull face. Number seven card is the um, cover of the box. I love that card. I think it's beautiful. Number eight card reminds you of a crystal skull. Now, number nine card. These are all Santa Morte deities. Number 10, different, different deities within the, within the Santa Morte religion. Number 11, number 12, number 13, love that one. Number 13, number 14, she's beautiful, look at her gown. Number 15, I must say the artwork in this is just, is, is just phenomenal, it's absolutely ex exquisite. Number 16, and those are sort of the deities. Now you get more sort of skull work. Number 18. Look at the hands reaching. Sorry, that was number 17. Here's number 18 for you. Number 19. Very interesting headless skull. Number 20. Quite a cool card. You get the skeletons all kind of shaking hands. Here's number 21. Here's number 22, looks like a DJ. <laughs> number 23, oops, number 24. And now we're going to have village life, little vignettes. Number 25, 
all still skeletons, but number 26, they're all doing something. Number 27, love that. Number 28, look at his beautiful sombrero's lovely hat. Number 29, number 30, she's also gorgeous. Number 31, and number 32. Now, those are the cards, but there's one more surprise in this deck. If you take these cards and you lay them all out the proper way, facing up in numerical order, you'll start seeing a pattern. And that pattern looks like this. Okay, so wonderful little hidden gems inside this deck. And that is really the only reason I bought this is because I, of the, uh, the Ouija board on the back and the little strips of kind of puzzle um, within the cards. This was the Santa Muerte Oracle. It's the companion piece to the Santa Muerte Tarot, but this is just a lot more difficult to use. And in my opinion, this is a lot more beautiful uh, because it is completely borderless. It doesn't have those weird borders the way the, uh, the tarot deck does. This is all borderless and it's just, it's got those little secret bits hidden in it that if you didn't know about, you actually would probably not find it out except by accident. It's worth getting, it's worth using, and it's worth being in everybody's collection. I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot, and I will see you next Sunday for another card review.